a long-awaited speech from U.S. President Joe Biden last night, who addressed his decision to remove himself from the Democratic ticket. Now, it comes as the race for the White House is heating up, with both candidates taking some swings at each other in rallies last night. It's not about me. It's about you, your families. Your futures. President Joe Biden addressing his decision to step away from the 2024 presidential race. So I've decided the best way forward is to pass the torch to a new generation. And priorities for the final months of his term. I'll keep defending our personal freedoms and our civil rights from the right to vote to the right to choose. This is the first time Biden has addressed the nation since announcing he won't seek re-election. Coming several days later to give the president's voice an opportunity to recover from COVID-19 and deliver the address with vigor, according to a senior advisor. Regarding Biden's decision to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris to take his place at the top of the ticket, the White House press secretary said the president has no regrets. This is, again, a decision that this president made, uh, and, uh, and I think uh, he is uh, proud to have made that decision. Harris has had a quick start to her presidential bid, today addressing a teacher's union. In this moment, we are in a fight for our most fundamental freedoms. And to this room of leaders, I say, bring it on. And releasing her first presidential campaign video this morning. We believe in the promise of America and we're ready to fight for it. Because when we fight, we win. Sources close to the former president say Barack Obama is expected to endorse Harris soon. He's one of the few top Democrats still holding out on showing support. And she's expected to pick her new VP candidate in the next two weeks. Former President Donald Trump in North Carolina last night for his first rally since Biden's announcement. He wasted no time pivoting his attacks to Harris. And Trump did not hold back. She is a radical left lunatic who will destroy our country. If you don't mind, I'm not going to be nice. Is that okay? Well, at least he warned us. This 2021 clip of Republican VP candidate J.D. Vance also making the rounds online again today. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. And so they want to make the rest of the country miserable, too. And it's just a basic fact. You look at Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children. Angering Swifties online and even celebrities like Jennifer Aniston, who posted, I truly can't believe this is coming from a potential VP of the United States. As a side note, Harris actually has two stepchildren. But back at the White House, President Biden used one of the most important speeches of his long political career to stress the importance of November's election, even as he leaves the ballot. History is in your hands. The power is in your hands. The idea of America lies in your hands.